delicious. Deliciously lethal. <laughs> Note how the slow motion makes everything more epic. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to The Wardrobe. I'm your host, the Birdman, known as Falcon. And speaking of the wardrobe, can we talk about this wardrobe malfunction up here? Look at this, there's there's bear ass on my screen. Like, not bear, like, I'm a bear, but like, literally, there's somebody's ass on my TV screen. Anyway, this right here is the wardrobe, which I wanted to check out because this game reminds me a lot of Manuel Samuel, which I loved. Manuel Samuel is a really cool, like, adventure game with a bit of a wacky physics mechanic. This right here is more of a conventional adventure game, but the story is actually quite wacky. There's a bunch of references to, like, you know... You know, old school nostalgia, video games and stuff like that. And uh, what I love about it too is that apparently you're a kid who dies, becomes a skeleton, and everybody seems to be fine by that? I don't know. This came out last month, it didn't really get too much coverage, I don't think, and I was kind of curious to see what it was all about. So how about this? We'll do one video here. If you guys enjoyed, want to see some more, let me know, and maybe we play more of this going forward. But for now, I'm really curious about this game, so let's go over here into New Game. This is the story of two young guys. Bound in friendship and in destiny. Ronald and Skinny, as often happened, went out for a picnic together to spend the day in the neighborhood countryside. Suddenly, Ronald pulled a couple of little plums out of his basket and gave one of them to his friend. Mmm, delicious. Deliciously lethal. <laughs> Note how the slow motion makes everything more epic. The boy's corpse stayed there for hours, enveloped by blades of grass, until all of a sudden, something happened. A new spark was instilled in Skinny's body, reduced abruptly to a skeleton, and slammed him inside Ronald's wardrobe, cursed to watch over his friend for the rest of his days. Or at least until today, when our story starts. Morning, sunshine. Hi, Nat. Forgive me, but I didn't sleep very well tonight. Are you sure you really want to talk to him? I have no other choice. He'll have a heart attack if you ask me, and he'll end up keeping you company in the wardrobe. I really hope not. Are you- what are you supposed to be, like a hamster or a squirrel? You're a cute little bugger. Anyway, um, did, did you guys notice the, the, the posters? We had- I saw Blasto Man, I saw Jersey Devil, I think I saw Goku, I saw Pokeball. Anyway, I remember those games from like those, that was like my old school PS1 demo. PS1 demos were the shit, man. Anyway, um, let's see, we're, we're in game here. We have to ask it a couple of questions here. Do you know where Ronald's gone? Do you know where Ronald's gone? Everybody left a couple of hours ago, but I don't know where they went. They were all very nervous. I don't know why exactly. It'll be the usual sale at the mall. The mother superior must have straightened them up as usual. When will you stop eating those things? Would you care for some, maybe? How many times do I have to tell you that I'm allergic to plums? Just looking at them, I'm getting hives. Man, you don't have any skin at all. And anyway, they're nuts. Otherwise, why would Ronald have given me this name? He probably just wanted to be alternative. You're a lost cause. You know, if I'm, if he's the, like, is he, was he aware that he was allergic to plums? Like, why would you eat the plum if it killed you? Is he aware of it now? I don't know about this plum thing. Hasn't Ronald spoken yet? You should know that by now. He hasn't said a word since you died in front of his eyes. I don't want his soul to be damned forever. If that stubborn guy won't open his lips for himself, I'll take steps to loosen his tongue. Don't hurt him too much. I have to run to the bathroom. All this excitement loosened my bladder. I like this room. Start here then. Put the little pet in the van. In the meantime, I'll prepare the boxes in the living room. And don't do it like last time when you got hit by a car while loading the stuff. There are colored books on the walls! But you don't even know which side a book opens on. I like colored books. 
Do you know what I don't like? Working for free to pay for broken things marked fragile. Do you understand? This carpet. It's soft as a marshmallow. I like marshmallows. <laughs> I should have listened to my dad when he told me to be a florist. Ah, I really needed a shower. Boss, it won't open. Let's keep working on the ground floor then. In the meantime, I'll ask the lady about a key. I'm afraid this damn move will take longer than expected. Move? And what should I do now? I'm coming, I'm coming. Apologies for the delay. I was late with a tutorial of another video game. Players are not what they used to be anymore. Let's uh, cut to the chase. I'm here to explain the game controls to you. Well, I'm not interested. I'm not asking you, Skinny. Let your player decide. Oh, that's some shots fired right there. Gamers are not what they used to be, man. Back in the day, we didn't have tutorials, which is actually kind of true, but you know what? We didn't have tutorials because of limitations. When I grew up playing in the NES, man, there was no fucking tutorials other than just like maybe one screen telling you how to jump. Otherwise, it was kind of like, you no know, Nintendo NES hard. Those games were only hard because of the limitations of the system back then and the games themselves. Fucking respawning enemies and like impossible jumps and Ninja Gaiden. Yeah, I remember all that shit. Anyway, let's see here. Um, It's an adventure game. I don't think I need a tutorial, so we'll just skip it here. I'm an extra. I'm an expert adventurer. I don't need any help. Okay, okay. I just hope you don't miss something while playing. All I'm asking is that you take a look inside that green satchel. I'll take care of it, as long as you leave us alone after. Yeah, Mom, get out of here. Mom, there's gold in this here bag. Ah, uh, no, it's just pyrite. Don't be fooled by appearances. It could be more useful than you can imagine. See you soon. <laughs> Ma, there's gold in this here bag. I like that. So, uh, are you guys catching the references, by the way? Let me know in the comments which ones you see. I already told you about the blast plays. We saw Jersey Devil, Goku. Over, over here, I'm totally seeing, like, a throwback to um, Scarface, right? We got the, the bloody shower scene. We got the chainsaw. This is totally Scarface right here. So, uh, let me know if you guys spot any more out here that I'm missing myself. So, let's see. We have Bear Man. I must say that he has the softest fur. Nothing soft about you stepping on my back. Why is that bear talking? It's just a rug. Then again, why am I the skeleton over here talking as well? What the hell is this? Hi, bear. Oh, I'm literally talking to the bear. What's new? Nothing, since I'm forced to stare at the sink. Hope I'll be luckier in the new house. <laughs> do you want me to give you your happy pills? How many times do I have to tell you that I don't need them? Besides, I have my duck. She makes me feel good. You have to understand, the bear is convinced he's married to the duck. Ah. Well, 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 why wouldn't he be? How do you feel about this move? I hope I don't end up in a bathroom in front of another dripping sink, or I'll go completely crazy. You better find a way to get out of this house and into that van. What are you waiting for? <laughs> I love how the fucking talking bearskin rug is giving me advice. And he's right, there's actually a small little drip. I like that. Did you see Ronald? If you mean naked? Yes. Every single day. And it's not a pretty sight. Come on, bear. You know very well what I meant. Early this morning. Usual time. He was a little down in the dumps. I mean, more than ever. But nothing particularly suspicious. Have you had any other hallucinations since the last time? Luckily not, Mr. Hunter. Bear, I'm skinny. I'm just messing with you. You're the little wuss without a backbone. I would argue that claim. Now I have to go, Bear. I guess so. All right. So, let's see. This will tell me everything I can actually interact with, so that's to get out of here. There's a can. Let's open this up. I've seen things you wouldn't believe. Count yourself lucky. I want to see what's in there. Open it up, dog. I can play. Whiffer. 
You've probably already figured out I'm not exactly an ace. In my defense, you have to admit that it's not easy to throw without real joints. You're embarrassing. That's it. Yeah, tell him, Bear. Alright, what else we got here? We got the peace sign in the toilet. The toilet itself. The Mighty Throne! This isn't like reading tea leaves in a cup. There's nothing in there I want to see. Oh, I beg to differ. Are you gonna dig in there? Don't think you can put everything that pops into your head inside my ribcage. <laughs> I'm okay, but thanks for worrying about the well-being of my intestines. Skinny, you don't even have intestines. That's not true. I'm simply constipated. Is there anybody down there? It's probably a good thing that thing didn't answer, really. There will be no peace for our quiet time. As much as the idea fascinates me, I should really give it up. Just flush it, man. Oh my god. Uh oh. Oh god. What the fuck am I... <laughs> was that really what I was supposed to do? No. Oh, it was. Have you seen boss? I opened the door. Bravo, well done. But now let's go, it's lunchtime. I like eating. Then come on, move. What a blow. Okay, um, one thing I forgot to mention, the, the, the movers, one of them was named Mario, happened to like Mario, that Rasta guy is annoying as hell. And over here we're seeing the Ninja Turtles. I like how we have Splinter and we have the Ninja Turtle um, little bandanas, I guess. <laughs> this is Splinter, that's great. Um, anyway, um, let's see, let's see. Was I supposed to leave already? I'm really, I, like, I feel like there was more to explore. I mean, there was obviously more to explore, but I suppose I got everything of importance there, which is the reason why it let me go. So what do we have here? We got a control unit, we have the plank, we got a meter, a magnet, and that's about it. We have the way outside. Okay, so let's um, start off by control unit, I guess. I guess it's the control unit of the neighborhood traffic light system. I find it curious that it's down here. I'd have imagined it on a pole or something like that. Maybe pulling out some high voltage wires would not be the best idea you've ever had. But alas, not the worst either. I just noticed that, is that, is that's, that's Killer Croc. You gotta be Killer Croc. <sighs> I won't deny that idea could be funny, but I don't think the people on the street would appreciate the humor. Oh, I would appreciate the humor, though. When will you stop with such foolishness? <laughs> I want you to talk to random inanimate objects, man. Uh, alrighty. Is that, um, Hotline Miami up here as well? Let's go check out this line. Not exactly the luckiest fishing trip I've ever seen. Ooh, we got a line. And that's all. What about Killer Croc? Killer Croc has a, a fucking thug life tattoo on his on his abdomen. This is Tupac. This is literally Tupac Shakur, the crocodile. Let's talk to him. Yo, dog, how you doing? Uh, hi. Hi, little bag of bones. That's, uh... It's a novel by Stephen King, right, Bag of Bones? Please don't eat me. As skinny as you are, you wouldn't even be useful for chicken stock. Hey, excuse me if I care about my figure. <laughs> you don't look too good. How are you? I have an unbearable pain in my tooth. Mm, something must be stuck in it. Would you like to take a look at it? Mm, fine. Th that's okay. <sighs> There's something in there indeed, but I don't think I can remove it with my bare hands. We got a line. We got a line for that. I'm sure you're a really nice guy at heart, right? Actually, I just escaped from a maximum security prison for reptiles. I was locked up because I slit the throats of my neighbors with a fishbone. They were too loud, and I couldn't sleep. I promise I will never do anything to upset you. I'm just messing with you, stupid bag of bones. You're not funny at all. <laughs> I beg to differ. 
Plus that thug life tattoo is hilarious. So you're around. So if I want to help this guy, we need to, um, I got that uh. line. So how would I work this out? Do I need something else, perhaps? I don't. So you're around. Let's see, what else can I interact with here? Mm, how do I check my inventory? Uh. Tab, maybe? Here we go. Fishing line. So I don't understand what you're trying to get at. Oh, I'm trying to see how we use this, man. Oh, here we go. I'm afraid flossing wouldn't be enough. Oh. I was hoping we could, like, grab it and pull. No? Okay. So I guess we just keep looking for now. There was a magnet. <laughs> could it be the magnet? Oh, okay. So we could just continue walking down this way. Won't be the... Hmm. Why can't I pick up the plank? Just like at the water park. Only with different bacteria. I'd say it speaks for itself. Let's move on and accept it's just part of the scenery. Oh. Once again, physics is against me. Okay. This timed parking thing has turned into a real scourge. To do that, I would need a crowbar and a good lawyer. My whip is still parked in the wardrobe. <laughs> My whip? Okay, um, so... Oh, 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 we gotta... Oh, I can't even use the bat? Come on. The wall. It's the wall. It seems pretty battered. Oh. Stop asking me to pick up unnecessary things. Time is money. Boom, baby. So, let's see. I, I obviously don't want to leave just yet. I want to help that crocodile. What the hell is happening here? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, we have tank behind us. We got a dinosaur over here. We got a chest. We got mummy. Pay or you're dead. Okay, let's see what's um, oh, the blowtorch first. My grandpa worked in a factory welding vehicle body parts. I remember that on his deathbed, and completely blind already, he mistook the blowtorch tube for my grandma's arm. May he rest in peace. Eh, it's normally not good. A little too heavy, don't you think? Man up, bro. There's still some gas in it if one day you ever decide to follow in the footsteps of my grandpa. Okay, and you probably can talk to that. Uh, what about Dinosaur Man? The T-Rex Cowboy. Undisputed ruler of the very Wild West until the end of the Cretaceous period. It would have been interesting to ask him how he managed to extract his revolver from the holster. That's true. Uh, let's see. Open this. Oh my god! Chicken man? Why is there an X over here? Why, why am I marking this spot? Hmm. <laughs> I just know he's got a little gun, too. Okay, so we can't do much else over here. Let's see, we got the mug. Judging from all the dust and the boyish look of the barman, I'm betting this has seen better days. Hey, we got a mug. Oh, look, there's a frozen nut. Okay, well, I think we're getting somewhere. Let's see, what can we do here? Let's talk to barman. And this is why we complain about youth unemployment. Nice place you have here. It's not much of a talker. Were you and Tutankhamun relatives? No, it's because I see a strong resemblance. Maybe it's the nose. I could have sworn it, you know that? Did you have an accident with the cat? You must have really driven it mad to need all those bandages. I got it. You're a Tibetan monk under a vow of silence. Damn it, I was sure I was right this time. Were you one of the Queen's guards? You won't confirm or deny it, I understand. Has anyone ever told you you're really good at listening? Seriously, don't be so modest. Alrighty, well, what if I give him the fucking mug? It's like, hey, oh, serve me. I would me. stay and chat with you for hours, but I wouldn't presume to impose upon your time. Alright, so it's... What the hell is this over here? Oh my god! It's the chastity belt. Why is that on? What the hell is that supposed to be? You, you don't have the bone structure of a bird, but you you, you definitely got a beak. Cock-a-doodle don't. 
Oh, I get it now. <laughs> You'll never know what I hide under my inventory. Never. It seems to me that it's done its job all too well until now. <laughs> it's literally a cock block. <laughs> uh, okay. Hey, um, serve me, my man. I seriously doubt he can serve me. The long inactivity must have made him a bit stiff. Aw. But uh, how do I get him to work on me? Okay. What if, um, if I give you the pirate? Right? I don't follow. No? Okay. Well, what about the fucking string? Everyone has a good plan, which will not work. Nah. Okay, let's see what's happening with the jukebox. Now I understand the electricity bills with all the zeros at the end. It would look great in the living room, but I don't have the muscles I used to. Well, at least we're jamming now. Let's see. So... What would happen if I go back upstairs? Oh! 404 image not found. That's where that door led. And for all these years, nobody ever bothered to force it. Alrighty, well, what the hell was, what was that? Yo, yo, come back out here again. I want to see you. Oh, there it is. It just pops out randomly. I don't know what the hell that is. I know it's got to be a reference to something. I don't know what the hell it is. Alright, so uh, luckily we, we can always go back, which is great. I'm trying to find out how to help that crocodile. If you can even help him, I imagine you probably can. Oh, it's Mario and um, his Rasta friend. Something tells me I shouldn't be here right now with these people hanging out? Probably not. Let's go back. Fly trap? Maybe it's anti aesthetic, but it's certainly effective. I don't want to end up like those who were here before me. I don't see how it could be useful to me. Oh, you never know. You're a fly. You never know when it could be useful, okay? Come on. Robot man? He seems to be a bit short on energy. Hi, little robot. C1 is not programmed to talk. But you just did it. C1 is not programmed to explain itself. B but you just did as well. You totally did. What if I took out your batteries? Would you still be in the mood to show such attitude? C1 is programmed to run on solar energy. Don't provoke me, or I'll hit you with a hammer. Oh, how convenient with the solar energy, huh? You're looking worse for wear. C1 isn't tired. C1 is running data. Why don't you turn tail in the meantime? If those two catch you, you'll end up in a box, you know that? C1 is not programmed to do it. Are you telling me you can't do two things at the same time? C1 hasn't got the updated firmware. Right, everybody says that. <laughs> beep, beep, bzz, bzz, beep, beep. C1 finds this really insulting. C1 has had it up to his valves with you. Come on, don't be so salty. Don't forget we applied for a Peggy 3 rating. Be careful what you say. <laughs> what about the three laws of robotics? C1 thinks you've seen too many sci-fi movies. C1 could easily pierce your skull with a laser beam and use it as a bowling ball if he wanted to. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks for the clarification. Good luck with your calculations. And that's it. Alrighty. Well, I believe we're out of time here, guys. I wish I could play some more, but... um. Episode's gone on long enough. Uh, I would tell you this. If you guys want to see some more, let me know. We'll continue it. Need to figure out what the hell we have to do next, but um, we could still go upstairs over here. We could go outside. I think you gotta help that 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 dude, that crocodile man, out somehow. And I know that line's gotta do something with it. But all the information for the wardrobe will be down below in the description if you wanna follow it and pick it up for yourself. Pretty fun little adventure title thus far. I will catch you next time.